Of course. Hi Cancer and welcome to your May reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus. However, whoever clicked on this video, you were brought here for a reason and so I hope you hear all that you need as well. Definitely do subscribe before you leave, okay? For this month, I am trying something different. I've only pulled one card and so I really want to focus on the energy and the themes that come through with the one so that uh, you don't feel as distracted, especially if you are a newbie to tarot and astrology. You can really uh, learn it one card at a time and really be able to take advantage of the energy and know what it is that I'm talking about as I'm expressing and explaining the card and uh, the, the messages that come through. Okay, um, just trying something new within this channel, just always wanting to keep it fresh. So let me know if you do like it. I am open to suggestions in the comments, but uh, I did feel led to do this one card uh, reading. So I will at least get through all 12 before I decide to either continue or to switch it up and add more, do less or what have you. Now, as I was shuffling the cards, the one that wanted to be seen was the nine of coins. That's what came out for you guys. And I'm getting a sense of like accolades. There's a lot to be proud of in the month of May. Um, there's a lot to be respected, right? Uh, people have the utmost respect for you as uh, you continue to hold on to your beliefs and your standards for things and um, how you won't accept anything less than what you feel you deserve for all that you have done for others but as well for as much as you have done for yourself you've proven to be very self-sufficient and independent you really don't need anybody in the sense of uh, needing to have like a knight in shining armor somebody to come and rescue you uh, you have been able to from the mud right or from the cement grow into a very beautiful and a very um like strong person and strong isn't the adjective that i want to use but for lack of a better word because i'm drawing a blank like who knew that you would be all that you have become and there's still so much more for you to tap into for you to grow into and evolve as a, a person as a woman as a mother as a daughter as a friend um as a sister you know, um, as a brother, if you're a man, as a husband, as a cousin, as uh, a productive, industrious member of society in the way that you decide to give back. Sixth house Virgo is coming up for some reason, though that's not what we pulled. But the nine of coins here, it feels very like you're very full. There's a there's a sense of contentment though you don't have the ten of coins if you never get to the ten of coins you are okay like you won't have that FOMO that fear of missing out you don't feel like you really lack at this point this is giving me that visual of in yoga when you do the deep breath right and you feel very full right as you take that deep breath in you make sure that your heart is out the chest is up the shoulders are back it's dropped down and you just are like i don't know it's like brimming is what i'm hearing you are beaming in the month of may but um you are breathing and that's the thing you have survived and you will continue to survive despite all odds despite all challenges i feel like you guys are looking at the challenges in the month of may uh, with a more positive outlook than ever before which is nice because i do believe cancer's kind of had it rough for the past couple of months i know in other videos that i've watched for other signs just the titles alone i was not interested in even clicking to find out more it didn't seem like you guys were really uh having the best of time especially the past three or four months some of you guys though have been having the best of time you can just go either way uh, but with this nine of coins you're speaking to sagittarius's house sagittarius is all about adventure right embarking on 
a new journey or a different journey again something that can give you uh, more perspective something that can make you appreciate life more you guys are taking trips in and out of the country with this type of energy you guys are really focusing on studies like psychology uh, philosophy uh, the arts with this card culinary arts right visual arts modern art contem contemporary is modern but like old renaissance like paintings and those types of mediums like acrylic oil paint um charcoal whatever people use but you can be dabbling in those things this can be uh the latent abilities that you found in the eighth house um, are really starting to come through in the nine you're starting to really flourish uh with the things that you have been practicing on right the things that you have been teaching yourself because the nines can be all about like self-taught um, energy um, but again this is all about having more discipline and or learning disciplines and you are really evolving through the things that uh, or expanding there we go it's a very expansive breath that's what I was trying to get at in that feeling of fullness but um, it's expanding your your mind and your horizons and uh, the things that you were told like it it, it beats that whatever it is that you're learning here it, it beats anything that you've ever been told okay some of these things that you are coming upon you never even knew existed out there and so that is also opening your eyes because it's like well if i didn't know about this what else don't i know about right how much further do i have to go you are remaining a student as well as being a teacher in the month of may um very attractive things resonate when you speak it resonates with people in the month of may it do see vibrationally you are living in a state of high vibration you guys are out of that brooding energy that i had touched on and i know i did um at one point this year i just can't remember which month that was where you guys are always sulking um if the smallest thing goes wrong it can set your whole day off right you ruin everybody's mood because you're a water sign and so you can affect energy in that way you can change the atmosphere in that way this month it's very positive right again people are remembering or wanting to um really latch on to the things that you are saying this month but as well through your voice or through your creative pursuits you are able to bring in some money you guys are pretty lucky when it comes to finances or you are in a place where you are really stable you are very comfortable with how much you are able to make with what it is that you are doing even if it's not creative although you can argue that even if you work behind a desk in an office space like in corporate and you do i don't know you just work on like drafting proposals or just doing something right you are still creative in a sense this is being able to be a, a little bit more versatile right with this energy that's coming through versatility will work to your advantage this month now if you are a single cancer for my my singles you have finally reached a place or reached a point of being fine with being single there no longer is that rush or that desire to have that family because you you rule the fourth house and you are very concerned with things that bring comfort which is having that family and that structure and that desire to just want to like nurture people places things whatever the case may be right um, but you're at a place where it no longer concerns you. You're not going to be so desperate for love that you would just settle for anything. So it's better to just wait anyway and just enjoy life as it is. I feel like you guys are enjoying life a lot more in your single dumb. You're taking yourself out on dates, right? You're not going to wait for somebody else to do it. Uh, again, you're not waiting for that knight in shining armor. You're not waiting to be saved anymore. You don't need to be saved. You've never needed it. And so I feel like you guys have had that epiphany type of moment where you realize like 
you are the love that you seek. Um, and until somebody in the external environment can match how you feel about yourself, how good you feel about yourself, and how good other people in passing are telling you uh, that you make them feel or um, they're making you feel by complimenting you, until that is matched, you're just going to be chilling. And there's nothing wrong with that. For those that have been in a relationship, it's looking good. You know, it's elevating slowly but surely. Here, some of you guys just need to have the patience to let it really blossom. Some of you guys, your expectations and your, your standards are a little too high for um, where you feel it should be or how the relationship should look. Um, for some of you guys, you're, you're itching if you've been in it for a while. You're itching to have a little bit more independence here. Maybe a, a little piece of your identity has been lost because you've been too involved around somebody else. So you're going to be looking at that in the month of May. I don't necessarily know that you will be breaking up, but uh, there are grounds and opportunities for you to have the more honest conversations that you need to have so that uh, you can still have that quality you time, downtime, time with friends and family, but can still make the relationship a priority and can still maintain that balance with work as well to where um, no one thing feels overlooked or like put it on the back burner if you will with this energy so that's what's coming through for you guys um i feel like because you guys are in such a good place and you are kind of feeling the best you've ever felt you're putting your best foot forward as far as like your appearance is concerned really have been working on your self-esteem and feeling worthy you are really allowing for your heart chakra to open up a lot more which can if you are single bring in love and because this is the only card that really came up for you guys it can be an earth sign that comes in which can balance your again your water energy but you're gonna have to be more patient because earth signs definitely don't move fast and you are a cardinal water sign so you kind of move like aries moves you're you're just you're in and out right so this can be something that really brings that good uh, groundedness into your life. So that's what's coming through for you guys. And if you're unfamiliar with like earth signs, it's Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or Virgo. But yeah, um, heart chakra, just continue to work on that through the month of May and your sacral and solar plexus. Again, that self-esteem and your, your confidence and your sensu sensuality, um, if not your sexuality, if you are really um, exploring that a lot more um, that's coming through, just making sure that you, you feel comfortable with who you are and again, your identity in the month of May. Can't nobody tell you shit. Okay, can't nobody live this life but you for you so above all else your opinion should matter more that's what's coming through though if this reading resonated do give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family subscribe for more and if you want to book with me i will leave my email here it starts as low as ten dollars and then it just goes up from there just depending on if you want me to do like a twin flame relationship reading um, or just dig more into other external factors that could be influencing you in the month of may uh, the reading would be a little bit pricier but definitely worth every penny but i'm not going to pressure you so at your own will hit me up but if i don't hear from you if you book with me then just take care of yourself until you hear from me again okay ciao